Uh, Tulsi Gabbard has been acting a bit weird about the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. Look at this lady. Look at her. And her upright phone video prime time. Like like we were just waiting with bated breath on Tulsi Gabbard's take at something. Hmm, I wonder what she's trying to do. These issues, when I look at policies, I, I look at it by thinking of what is actually going to improve the lives hmm. of the American people. What will make their lives better, more secure, more prosperous, more fulfilled. And unfortunately, what we've seen is that President Biden isn't doing that. He should be focused on his job as president of the United States of America. And what is she actually solving the problems that we're facing here? Securing the border, making our communities more safe, improving education, strengthening our economy by supporting small business. There are a lot of problems, unfortunately, that need to be fixed. That's where he should be focused. I'm interested. I I don't think like hey anybody here think Joe Biden's fucking kicking ass in the White House. Anybody? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think I don't think anyone's like hell yeah Joe mother effing Biden dude. Sign me up for some Joe B. But like man, why can't we be accurate about like, why he's bad. Like, why any president's bad. Why can't we just be honest about it? Be like, hey, I don't like this. And then talk about that. There. Does anyone else feel like po- politicians, no matter where they're from, and I mean, like, she she says she's a Democrat. You mark my words. Tulsi Gabbard is, is going to end up with an R next to her name before her career is over. Over. I'd be hella surprised. Unless they just move way too far right for her. But, uh, I mean, boy, oh boy. Anyway, uh, she's had pretty much all the bad takes. Like, Joe Manchin, cinema, same shit. Uh, although she's further right than both of them, in my opinion. Uh, Maybe. Sky Comet Fallen, thanks for giving one to uh, Sweetheart's Cat. I, I would really like to get to the the point where we could just be like pointing out really really specific stuff about presidents that suck so we could like you know instead of trying to win elections and shit very cynically what if we what if we hmm, treated this job this part not as like a way to like get famous and get money what if we treated this job as a way to uh, improve the country <laughs> it's fucking it's a wild idea who would who would have thought of that Think, but, think someone that Tulsi Gabbard might appeal to at any point? Maybe a founding father or something? Instead, as we've seen, he seems to be more focused on trying to be president of the world. And what? along with the power elite of America, taking this missionary zeal to say, you know what? We're, we're going to set aside. What is she? Is she rolling her sleeves over an abacus when she talks? Like, is she? <laughs> what is happening? This sounds like it's little beads rolling across a table. It's driving me nuts. I the problems that the American people are and, and oh. instead focus on saving the world by that? spreading democracy everywhere. It? It's just a bigger version of, of Obama's Arab Spring where he what? took his kind of messianic attitude towards trying to save the Middle East by spreading democracy, but really just left destruction, suffering and death in his wake. And what is she rolling her sleeves over? A bag of marbles? Maybe a bucket of dice? Ooh, maybe it's like a bowl of peanuts. Like with the shells on? It's probably that. Ooh, bangles from the mall? Uh, rolling over the lapel. I mean, that's just too reasonable. I don't think that's what it is. I really don't. I think it might be an abacus. Yeah. A friendship bracelet she bought for herself at the mall? Ooh, that's a good idea. That could be it. And the American people paid a very, very... Kids' teeth she stole. I love the idea of Tulsi Gabbard. Like, can you imagine, like... Like, because she, she likes the Patriot Act, so she's got, like, all her neighbors wired up and bugged up, and so she knows when all the kids are losing their teeth. And on the night of, of, of you losing your teeth, she's like, oh, shit. 
I got to get that tooth. I can't be having kids getting money from no, no nowhere. That's not hard work. You have to earn your dollar in America. And she like takes their tooth money that their parents put under the bed. I would love that. I think, I think if she if she did a little bit of uh, a little bit of like counter tooth fairy ing, like, I mean, what what's a tooth fairy? It's the it's the participation trophy of parenting, right? I actually disagree. I think the tooth fairy is kind of cute, guys. I also think it's a lie. So I don't know. You can still give your kids money for teeth, though. Give them money for teeth, but please don't teach them like Tulsi Gabbard learned. Because this is the lesson Tulsi Gabbard took out of the Tooth Fairy, is that if you steal children's teeth, you make money, which is not the case. So make sure that the, the, that the lesson is that I love you. This is a funny, dumb thing we're doing. <laughs> okay. Heavy uh, price for that. It's about humility, isn't it, Tulsi? It's about recognizing that the American president can't just shape the world however he wants. And... Part of being intelligent is kind of knowing your limitations. Do you think Joe... <laughs> I just started reading the conversation about the implied anal beads in chat <laughs> that two of you were having. I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And I started reading. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Joe Biden knows his limitations or... <laughs> Do you think he's so arrogant that he think he's just going to, you know, create? Is this guy going to cry? What is happening to his eyes? They have this man lit like he's been weeping. Create a new world order with global alliances that will be run out of Washington and Brussels like usual. Don't say it. Central to that humility, Jesse, is first and foremost recognizing you're not God. How did anyone simp for this woman? Have you heard her talk ever? I don't under she's she's like a she's like a You remember the politician in the boys in season 2? Like Oh my <laughs> Recognize you're not god. Check her Bitcoin wallet. Well, we'll talk about we'll talk about why Tulsi's a little bit sussy in a second here. You are not in control, and if you try to pretend that you are, what will result, even with good intentions, what will result, unfortunately, is more suffering, more hardship for the people in the world that supposedly he's trying to what save. What's she even saying? But also for the American people, because Joe Biden's already told us, "Hey, freedom is not free. You, the American people, are going to pay the price." Oh, like about like gas prices are going to be high for a second because Russia decided to do a war. Is that I don't understand how it's Joe Biden's fault that Russia decided to do a war chat. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this argument. Like was am I am I mistaken or was Joe Biden and 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 Putin not like having to have this conversation? Like what was what was Joe Biden gonna be doing? I don't understand. Like they have to operate through a specific apparatus, NATO. Like I don't. It seems fascinating. They they wanted him him to what? Not be world police, but also prevent Russia from ever doing the thing. I actually I just don't know. I don't know how you can be mad at Joe Biden for not being world police like don't try to be world police joe i'm mad at you don't do it and also but don't let russia do the thing because my gas prices will go up high you have to prevent russia from doing that because i want my gas prices to be low I, those two things are are backwards to each other they're not congruent i need someone to make me understand how those two things can happen at the same time joe biden is too authoritarian in the world because he didn't stop Russia. Hmm. I also want to know what, what Trump's plan was to not do it. I'd like to know why I made the mistake of voting for Joe Biden. Okay? If Donald Trump has the, has his plan, how you just got to believe me, I was very strong on Russia. What do you mean? 
What does this mean? Just tell me what you would do. What's the secret that Joe's not doing? I mean, wouldn't it be good to just let us know so that Joe could do the thing if you cared about America? I don't know. That seems interesting. Uh, and that's exact, that, that is exactly what we will see play out if he continues to think that he is and can be somehow the controller of all people and all things in this world. Tulsi Gabbard is here talking about how Joe Biden is leading the new world order, guys. I don't... I mean, he can barely even control... Oh, look at him. He's He's got... Dude, this guy has the eyes of, of an alien stuffed in a human suit. Like, squeezed to the brim. Like, there's an alien inside of that skin flesh bag, and its eyes are the only thing that we can see poking out from it. Agar, more sugar. Yeah, good doing some of that shit. He just looks evil. Yeah, he's, he's like an evil-looking guy. <laughs> Troll himself, let alone the entire world. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for your analysis. Thanks, Jesse analysis guys this is analysis and you can't spell analysis without anal right holly and veg like what the fuck analysis now check out this other uh video i want to talk to you about this we're not done with tulsi uh we have more tulse some more of that tulse any anyone need more more tulsin minerals here you go, you get more of it in her back home, uh, yard, Aloha. Hey everybody, so, uh... Aloha. Surprised she didn't say something in Hawaii. Did you know she's from Hawaii, chat? She's from Hawaii, she surfs, so she's fun. Since this morning, I've gotten some questions from people who are not familiar with the term shadow banning uh, and are asking exactly what it is. So I want to take a minute to show you. For example, when people try to type my name into the search box on Instagram or the discover box, okay. uh, my account does not show up. Whether you type in Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard, it just, it literally does not show up. Shadow banned. I'm also getting a lot of reports from people who are trying to at me, at my name, at Tulsi Gabbard, and mention me in their Instagram stories or posts, and they're getting a warning that says this account has posted false information. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's like that sometimes, you know? I don't know if you know this chat. I'm a tea guy now. So, uh, it's got raspberries in it. It's a ra raspberry tea. Obviously, they're not providing us or whoever's trying to post this examples of what this misinformation is or uh, what exactly they're talking about. Uh, people try to tag me in an Instagram post and they get an error saying, we are restricting certain activity to protect our community. W what are they protecting their community from? You? They don't think you're good for their community. Is that tea not cold now? You don't like a little cold tea? I love a cold tea. Mm. Actually, I had like a cat hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a cat hair. We got it, though. Mmm. Delicious cold teas. Nobody knows. And no uh, yeah, I do, it's you. Another thing is just with my posts, uh, I would say that with the numbers of views and the numbers of likes, they're down. So uh, that that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what down, shadow banning huh? is and It's interesting. Maybe you've seen this, but someone did a little a little looking. A little bit of looking. Check this out. Tulsi Gabbard lost a few. Instagram users in Russia are told service will cease at midnight. Tulsi says Instagram is suppressing her voice. Oh, look, 10 days later. Zoinks. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It could 
could be could be that you know could be could be a little bit of that going on well let's keep going let's, let's see let's keep talking about shadow banning and stuff uh, we don't really and care about this really but we might as well finish it. it's got one more minute what the effects are you know i was talking to somebody yesterday saying hey how come they're allowed to do this i know very well are they that- allowed to do this Tulsi, it's called capitalism. Maybe you've heard of it. They are a corporation that owns that owns a thing, and uh, you've been banned, uh, shadow or otherwise, off of it. You've allowed this, and you continue to vote for such things. And um, well, it is what it is. And frankly, I mean, like, I don't know if there's any situation in which a a a place wouldn't be able to limit the speech it allows. You know what I mean? Unless it was like state run, but this isn't state run. Although, interestingly, I thought China and Russia were supposed to be like like simpatico on this kind of stuff. Now they're not as tight like China was kind of like, "Hey, we're sort of putting ourselves at distance. We're not going to support or uh condemn Russia." Very brave. Um but like they do TikTok. You'd think you'd think that, you know, you know, if if all the conspiracy theories were true, that they would be enjoying Tulsi's content. But that's not what happens. At these big tech companies have a lot of Congress in their back pocket, and so while you'll hear Democrats and Republicans Congress. railing, Congress doesn't run TikTok. What or whatever the fuck Instagram against you know suppression maybe you know i don't know actually what the what the split is between democrats and republicans but you'll hear politicians railing against you know the power of big tech monopolies and something's got to be done well congress hasn't done anything yet and big tech money uh is the reason why so as long as we have these cowardly leaders in place what do you mean that's it's just capitalism not big tech monopolies it's just capitalism in general when you incentivize people making money, you can't you can't just be like, oh, but not too much, because they're gonna just do it. <laughs> like what? This is why you can either you could like do the tax of billionaires thing, right? You could try, or like, you just get rid of the whole goddamn system because it's not good. It doesn't benefit humanity. It benefits a few humans. I don't anticipate any real change. So if you are not already, I encourage you to join me at tulsi.locals.com. You'll get to see everything I'm posting directly. No chance of censorship. She's, 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 her locals account? Does she have a link to her locals account? She can put a link there? What the heck? We are lucky for having you to fight for us, Tulsi. Wow. I'm not a Democrat and probably never will be. You are without question the voice of sanity in the Democratic Party. <laughs> Republicans love her. Hmm. 